The house is hoping to spread love this Valentine's Day. That's what we want to do on Valentine's Day. And the center also helps homeless and at-risk youth and is holding an open house next Saturday of all days on Valentine's Day. And to tell us more about it is Executive Director Jerry Pirro. Jerry, tell us a little bit about Covenant House. Well, Covenant House is a safe sanctuary for the young people of Detroit who have ended up in a homeless situation. We work with uh, 18 to 22 year olds and the whole idea behind Covenant House is not only providing the basics of food, clothing and shelter, but also working with them to end their homelessness and hopefully get them into a permanent housing situation where they can resume their lives. For everyone at home, talk about the numbers here, the number of teens not only that you guys help, but on any given night, upwards of 5,000 teens can be roaming the streets of Dementia Detroit. It can be that many. We, in a year's time, reach out to over 5,800 homeless youth throughout the city of Detroit, um, again, between that, those ages and even older. Our outreach team is out there uh, every day, twice a day, afternoon and evening, looking for these young people that are hanging out in abandoned homes and groups under viaducts and reaching out and telling them what we can do to help them through. You know, Talk about what people can expect when they come to visit next Saturday, because this is going to be an opportunity for them not to only educate themselves, but also see what you guys do. What will they see? Well, they will see uh, a really nice campus. Mm -hmm. uh, they will see two areas where we house over 70 young people uh, every day. Mm -hmm. They will see a uh, building where we have cafeteria and our administration, our outreach team. They will also see one of our schools. We have four charter schools for uh, young people who have not quite made it through high school but want to recover their credits and, and graduate with a full diploma. And they'll see all of that as well as meet our residents, uh, see our clothing store, and, uh, and get to know them a little bit better and exactly what we do there. And it's, this all happens next Saturday. Talk about the hours. I mean, when, when can people come and do this next Saturday if, they're, if they are interested? Because this seems really interesting. This is really cool that mm -hmm. they can, this is happening right here in our backyard. Right. Well, next Saturday being Valentine's Day, it's a day that we think about people who we are concerned about, people who matter to us. Mm -hmm. And so we thought it was fitting inviting the whole community of Detroit to come and visit us between the hours of 10 and 2 in the afternoon, uh, visit the campus, uh, community groups, churches, uh, young people's groups. We invite them all to come and uh, share the love, as we call it, uh, with our residents and, uh, and even be part of some volunteer work that we'll have going on that day. So, What do they need to bring with them? They need to bring a Valentine's card and maybe $14 in that card to represent that Valentine's Day and their gift to uh, the, the young people that we work with there. But what we really want is their recognition. We want them to learn about who we are, what we do, and to, uh, to meet the really wonderful young people that are there once they get the help they need. I'll tell you, when I read that email yesterday that our producer, Rachel, sent out, I, I was blown away by the 5,000. So that's an yeah. amazing number, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you next, uh, though, Anu, we'll send over things over to Anu uh, for uh, what she has coming up. All right, guys.